and now we're going to talk about the lust card. This actually represents the Scarlet Woman and you can see that she is riding a seven-headed beast in a state of ecstasy and she knows how to control that seven-headed beast because she is at one with the life force energy, the passion, and the vitality that is nature. She's lifting up a chalice and that chalice represents the womb of the feminine and in it is an egg. And you see these filaments that are moving towards that uterus, moving towards that egg, just like the sperm in the real life process. You also see that she is almost drunk with the ecstasy. She's drunk with the type of control that she has. And what she understands is that in every person is an animalistic energy. And if that energy is not allowed to be released every once in a while, it gets crazy and completely out of control. And the seven-headed beast represent, has seven faces to it. An angel, a saint, a poet, a warrior, a bacchanant, a satyr, and a lion serpent. To her, she believes that everyone is wearing masks. They play certain roles, but they also need to take those masks off every once in a while to reveal who they truly are, their true self, which is a passionate person. So that all of us at certain moments in time need to cut loose and allow our passionate life force energy to get some airtime and to experience life and experience the pleasures that life offers. Under her feet, you see the martyrs. And these are saints that have actually fallen asleep under the sensuous, sexual, seductive spell of the Scarlet Woman. And it's the indicator that all men are prey to her seductive qualities. And without her, we probably wouldn't, there would be no humanity without the passion play going on. So this card is a very strong card. It represents, this, it represents Leo and the passionate, warm energy that is Leo. And with this card, you need to be aware that sexual energy, life force energy is running, and you need to be aware that it's running, and you need to not fall asleep, and you need to be conscious and somehow move that energy as consciously as you possibly can. But you can have passion over lots of things. You can have passion over writing a book, or um, making a movie, or having children, or getting married. Um, and so there's many levels of passion that you get to play with in life. But this card indicates that it is time to dance within the game of passion. It is time to understand and work with your own life force and your own passions.